Well, Bo, I know you were around last spring, but not yes, sir. with the program. Um, I'm just curious how, how you feel like you're assimilating to the team, and um, have you been able to do any on-field stuff with the quarterbacks at all, or has he ever start running, building a floor, things of that nature? Yeah, for sure. We've had a couple of throwing sessions this far in the summer, and uh, they've gone well, man. I feel like I'm meshing with the guys in a, a quick f manner, and, uh, you know, just they're taking me in. Being friendly, guys aren't acting weird or anything like that. So uh, it, it's been a, a joy just to come in here and be accepted the way I have been. What do you uh, kind of describe yourself as a receiver, and what what kind of skill set do you think you bring to this offense that maybe something yes, was lacking? Um, shoot, they had some guys last year that just so happened to get hurt that are I'd say pretty much as good as I am. And I, with the throwing sessions that we've had, I've seen the guys you know run routes well and. We're going to have a pretty good group this year, but I feel like I can also bring a lot of explosiveness, um, big time plays, man, uh, just blocking downfield, aggressiveness, aggressiveness, all of the above, man. So I just feel like I'm a, a good asset to this team. You come from a program, obviously, that, that, that lives with great expectations like the one here. You, yes, you, don't, you don't come here for a year to go eight and four, right? Talk oh, about your expectations. Oh, most definitely, man. Nothing less of the national championship this year. You know, we have some a lot of older guys that have come along with me this this spring and have gotten here in the summer as well. And uh, we have one mission on our mind, and that's to uh, get it all. But one step at a time, though, we have to focus on, you know, getting our bodies ready this summer um, as we head into fall camp for sure. In your throwing sessions, what's it been like getting used to Riley? And does he remind you of anybody, or what are some of his characteristics sure. that you like? Oh, man. He's definitely one of one for sure. Uh, he also was part of my decision to come here, man. I played him last year as well, and he's just a great competitor, man. Doesn't quit or anything like that. Um, I, I really like his deep ball, man. It's, it's a lot different. It's You can run under it. Um, he gets it to you, man. Um, trying to think. He's, he's also a leader, man, for sure. He gets us all together. He's the one who sends the text messages, uh, what the coaches think, things like that. And it's just a good chain of command from the coaches all the way down. He, he helps us a lot, for sure. Going back to the spring, just mm -hmm. observing what were some of the challenges, but also benefits of that. Yeah. Uh, the challenges were just wanting to be out there, man. I was hungry. Um, coming off an injury from last year, uh, I just wanted to you know, run routes with the guys and basically just feel a part of a team again, man, for sure. But I feel like there were a lot of benefits, you know, like I feel the best I've ever felt in my life, 100%. Um, I was able to, you know, dive into the playbook early as well. Um, just get wrapped up around things like that. And it just was all to my benefit, I'd say. For sure. You talked about the throwing sessions. I guess what was that week down in Alabama at Riley's house and yeah, yeah. Phil Rivers? For sure. It, it was awesome. It was one of the best trips I've ever had in my life, man. I'm uh, not lucky enough to be able to go out the country yet, but I don't have a passport. But within this country, that was one of the best trips I've had. Um, we just went down there, had fun, talked a lot of ball with Phil Rivers. He was giving us pointers on um, like watching film. Uh, being better teammates with each other and things like that. And it was just a great trip. We were in the pool, went to uh, the lake, we went uh, fishing, all that stuff. So it, it was a dope trip for sure. And then what are just kind of your initial impressions of Mike Brown so far? Oh, Coach Brown, I love him, man. He's another interesting guy. Uh, just his personality, he's definitely a, a, a great leader so far. Um, uh, shoot. Yo, what up, what up? Uh, he's a great leader for us. He challenges us. He doesn't accept anything less but the standard and our OTA practices that we have. And um, it's just a guy that brings great energy every day, man. He doesn't have a day where he comes in like he loves football, man. He's he's just 100 percent all the time and very competitive, man. He's we went over his house, played basketball, things like that. So we, we love him for sure. And then what are just some of the differences in Lord Dame's strength and conditioning program and what you have been through the last four years at Clemson? For sure. Uh, there's a lot of similarities just as far as like the specifics, like certain uh, routines that we do or sets and things like that. But um, here there's a lot more speed-based training. Um, I'd say a lot more mobility. Like we come in, everybody comes in on Saturdays to get stretched out. Um, 
do extra mobility things where you have shoulder problems, hip problems, everything. And they just are really, a, how do I say it, um, science-based in science. They drive it into the science and use like boards, let us know how much or how high we jump, how much force you put in each foot, just things like that, man, um, that are just next level for sure. Let's do one more. Oh, okay. We have one. Is that an 88 on your neck this year? Is that the yes, number? Yes, sir. Is that the number? Oh, yeah. This is 88. I got this in high school. Shout out to my parents. They got it to, to me. Uh, what was that? Probably by my senior year in high school, I got this necklace. So uh, just been rocking out with it ever since, for sure. Right. It's a number I wore in high school as well. So. All right. Thanks, Bo. Yep. Appreciate y'all. James, what have the first three weeks in the U.S. kind of been like for you? Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, I'm loving it here so much. The transition's been really seamless. It's a credit to the whole athletic department and, and all the staff and teammates on the football team and, and the campus itself. Um, they've just made the transition you know, so easy and I feel at home here already. And then what have you just kind of learned about the game of football so far? I already had a pretty good understanding of it. Obviously training with Pro Kick Australia back home in Melbourne. Um, they do a great job of developing um, ex-Australian rules football or rugby or soccer guys into becoming punters so um, they ensure that we're well equipped um, and prepared for when we come over here um, but obviously there's only so much you can learn until you get here and you know being out here on the gridiron with my teammates over the past few weeks it's um, it's been awesome I've really enjoyed it. And then how has just the relationship with Coach Biagi kind of grown since you've gotten here? Yeah, he's a great guy and um, even more to the point, he's a great person. He came and visited me and my family down in, in Melbourne um, at the start of May and um, you know that just showed what sort of character he is and um, yeah, I, I think we've got a really good relationship and I can't wait to um, continue to grow and develop um, as a punter and as a person um, under his guidance. James, can you give us the backstory of how you got here? Did they find you? Did you find Notre Dame? And just kind of take us through the process. Yeah, sure. So, um, I mean, I grew up playing Australian rules football, which entails a lot of, of kicking the ball or, or punting, as Americans would say. So I've always sort of had that natural skill growing up. We kick the ball in the backyard, you guys throw it. So, um, I mean, yeah, there was an academy set up by Nathan Chapman, Pro Kick Australia. Um, they've sent a lot of guys over to US colleges and they've got a really good track record of getting guys into college and into the NFL. So um, I always thought I had a big kick and it would be something worth trying. So um, yeah, I joined up with Pro Kick Australia and fortunately they recognised some potential in me and um, I was able to get to a point where um, I was good enough for, for schools such as Notre Dame to to want to sign me, um, so essentially um, when Notre Dame's punter hit the portal, um, there was a spot opened up and yeah, they reached out to the pro kick guys and they thought I'd be a good fit and um, fortunately Coach Biagi thought that as well. How far do you kick the ball in here, would you say? Um, I mean, it's, it's easy to get caught up in the statistics around yards and hang time um, with punters, but as long as I put the ball um, as far and as high as the team needs me to put it, um, then I'm happy and everyone's happy. So the, the ball in the AFL, the Sharon, I think it's called, it's, it's a different material, a slightly different shape. How, like, how much of an adjustment is it kicking in American football for Sharon? Yeah, so obviously the, the Sharons, they're a little bit bigger. I think they're made out of kangaroo leather. Um, so the sweet spot on the American footballs is a little bit smaller. Um, so there's less margin for error and the balls tend to be more unforgiving if you don't hit them in the sweet spot. So I guess that's why Pro Kick Australia are so good at what they do because they ensure that we're really able to transition from kicking the Sharons um, into kicking the American footballs. And then when you're punting an American football, like the objective is obviously to move the Sharons. So kind of how, like when yeah. you're approaching the mechanics of kicking the two, how, do you, how does the styles vary? Yeah, so um, obviously the skills are quite transferable, um, but at the same time, Pro Kick, you know, they, the coaches really do a good job of breaking down your old habits from Australian rules football and then sort of almost turning you into a robot in a way 
um, to try and build up the muscle memory and the biomechanics of kicking the American football as obviously the aim with punting an American ball is to try and kick up for hang time as well as distance where as in Australian rules football you're trying to get the ball to your teammate as fast as possible so you're trying to sort of you know dart it um, close to the ground so um, in terms of the technique you're definitely trying to involve your, your, your hips um, and your glutes more to get that extra power and, and generate more hang time. Typically in American football it's not a good thing if the punter has to make a tackle at the end of the of the kick but given your background in Aussie rules football and just looking at you you look like maybe you've tackled the dude a few times. Yeah yeah for sure I mean I hope I don't have to, ever have to make a tackle because um, that means that the punt hasn't gone to plan but if I ha ever have to, I'll be ready um, and my eyes will light up with that opportunity. I was going to say, you're probably not looking to just trip him, right? No, no, I'll, uh, I'll be ready to tackle him. Anything else? Be good? You want what you got? Go ahead. So the, the style is obviously very different because uh, there's not really as many stoppages, but how, besides kicking, kind of how did the AFL prepare you to be a collegiate punter? Because you could probably be pretty useful in fakes and, like you said, tackle him. Yeah, I guess um, it's helped develop me as an athlete. Um, so you're ready to to perform in different situations, but probably more so the mindset that um, Australian rules football has helped me develop, um, and just how to how to be a professional, how to get the most out of yourself, things like doing recovery, doing extras, all that sort of stuff's been ingrained into me from a young age. So. Yeah, a lot of the off-field stuff um, is really going to hold me in good stead for the transition into American football. All right. Carson, you made several visits to Notre Dame since you committed. I guess what made you want to keep coming back during those times? Uh, community and friendships. I feel like coming from Moeller High School and having a God-based community that I was at before prior to coming to Notre Dame, the experiences and challenges that I had went through at Moeller and facing adversity, I knew the guys that I were around are the reason that I was able to make it this far. So I realized coming to Notre Dame could probably give me the best opportunity to be surrounded by mind-like people that love faith, love football, and love family. So when you're always around guys every single day that have a motive to push to be better, you can't get much better than that. And then speaking to people from back home, you've been trained with Pac-Man for quite a while, I guess. Where does he kind of help develop your game the most? Um, I would definitely say in uh, press technique, but Pac-Man not only helped my game just in football, but as a role model and, you know, leading me through adversity as well. Um, I can never forget my times in my sophomore year when I had no scholarship offers or anything. And I would call him and I would just wonder, like, man, I'm playing early, I'm doing everything I need to do. And he would always just tell me, trust God and keep your head up. And then what's just kind of been the first three weeks on campus kind of been like for you? It's been great. Uh, I made some of my best friends that I know will be, you know, my best friends for the rest of my life. You know, got guys like Logan, Leonard, Tebron, all the guys that be around me in my dorm, you know, they always push me each and every single day to get better, so I love them. Carson, can you describe yourself as a, as a football player, and what do you think you might be able to bring to this team this year, potentially? Definitely. Um, a lot of speed and physicality when I come to the field. I feel like... Uh, learning each and every day with Coach Mickens has been a blessing because he's not only showed me new techniques, but a new way to play the game as well. And, you know, having the older guys like Benjamin Morrison, Jay Mickey, uh, Jordan Clark, just being able to look up to and follow after. When you look at guys that have the same goals and aspirations as you do, it's very easy to follow up behind them like that. I wondered what did you learn about Coach Mickens during the recruiting process that made you comfortable playing for him? Yeah, Coach Mickens, he's got A-level pedigree. Like, he's, he's the real deal, of course. And I learned that in the recruiting process, and not only have I learned that there, but I learned that when I got here. Just his level of understanding of the game, what helps all the cornerbacks in his room elevate their game. And you can just see that from the top down, because the way I came here, BMO has taught me, Christian Gray has taught me, and Jay Mick has taught me. And that all starts with Mickens, of course. And then you spoke of those veterans. I guess what's kind of their message and how are they teaching you how to adjust to college football? Yeah, there's definitely a huge adjustment, not only the speed of the game, but just the level of like, like intellect you have to have playing this game. So they've helped me with like technique as well as just stuff that you learn from playing the college game against high level receivers, which is going to help me in the long run. Leonard, can you describe uh, the type of football player you are and try to be? And, um, what do you think maybe your path is to helping this team this year potentially? Yeah, I think my path to helping this team, I just bring I bring physicality at the line and just and then I also bring ball skills. So not a lot of I mean not a ton of DBs have ball skills, but I feel like I have receiver like ball skills.
as well as length. What's uh, what's the lifting and the the, uh, the conditioning been like so far? It's usually a change for for young guys. Yeah, for sure. We haven't got into the nitty gritty of like the the hard lifting and conditioning, but Coach Lander right now is just programming us and getting our technique right so that we can put weight on and that we can grow those muscles that we need to to be explosive. What's a part of your game that might not have gotten enough credit during the recruiting process? I feel like a part of my game that doesn't get enough credit is just technique. I feel like I feel like I have good feet. Like a lot of people just see a long rangy corner who can go get the ball, but I feel like I cover well. I do zone coverage just as well as I do man coverage. Kirby, what made you comfortable with the John Rudolph during your recruitment? Um, just talking to him, really. I talked to him a lot during my recruitment, especially going from uh, Coach Easton to Coach Rudolph. Um, but it was a great transition. Um, coach Rudolph is a great guy. He's an uh, even better coach, and I'm excited. And then what are just your first impressions of the offensive line room, personality-wise and everything, your first three weeks here? Um, yeah, they're very definitely a tight group, which is always good in the offensive line room. Um, they're always cracking jokes. They're always having fun. But when it's time to get serious, they really – uh, hone in, get serious, and you know they they play Notre Dame football. And then has Notre Dame kind of let you know where you're going to start out position-wise yet? Um, right side, right side over here. Kirby, how do you how do you approach uh, this summer and this fall? I mean, it's it's not common for a true freshman to play on the line for yeah. a variety of reasons. So I'm just curious, take me through the mental process that you that, that you take into this year. Um, because of how much I trust the coaches, um, I'm in no rush because I know they're going to put me in when the time is right. I know that they're going to put me in when it's the best for the team. So for that reason, I'm in no rush to start. But obviously, it's um, I want to play as soon as possible as any player would. So, How, how important was it to you when you're, when you're looking at schools, just kind of the, the pedigree of linemen that Notre Dame has cranked out over the last decade or so? Um, it was definitely motivating to see, like, People call this O-line U for a reason because of all the great offensive linemen that have come from here, and that was part of the reason why I chose um, Notre Dame. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you doing? Rob, what was it like going through the spring, taking mental reps versus uh, actually practicing? What were the benefits and challenges of that? Uh, it was a great experience, um, you know, being able to kind of consume, you know, what I could. You know, um, being a, a watcher, like getting a feel of what practice is like, what, what the tempo is, you know, what type of, you know, coaches, you know, um, styles that, you know, the different coaches have, you know, um, you know, getting to watch all the different players and, you know, all the their abilities and, you know, the skills that they have. Um, it's really just a, t a time of, to kind of just get a full deep dive into what Notre Dame football is about. And uh, so, yeah. And then did you do anything on your own to kind of learn the defense or just familiarize yourself with the defense? Yeah, I was um, able to, you know, familiarize myself with the defense, you know, you know, learn, you know, a lot of the different coverages that they run. Um, and uh, kind of, you know, I mean, I've already been an experienced player. I've ran all the coverages and played all the different positions and did all the stuff. So, I mean, it's kind of a – just a transition of just learning new ter terminology, you know, there's still some different, you know, differences between, you know, the defenses that I've played before. You know, Coach, Go Coach Golden got, you know, has a, a great defense and, you know, a lot of different ways. He uses guys a lot of different ways. Um, so, um, but I'm definitely used to, you know, all the stuff that th they've thrown at me. So it's been a good experience, of, you know, kind of figuring it out. And then you've seen several young guys at Northwestern in here. I guess, what was the jump with Don that kind of made this spring? Oh, yeah. Uh, Don, you know, he's uh, definitely taking steps in the spring, um, you know, making plays, um, you know, of course, getting more comfortable out there, uh, you know, looking more like a, a, a veteran, you know, player, you know, taking those next steps, you know, um, you know, everybody goes through different transitions and phases in college football, and you know, I, you know, he's definitely coming to his own, and I think he's gonna, you know, help us a lot up this upcoming fall. Ted, how's the shoulder, and I guess are you fully cleared for everything at this point? Uh, yeah, I'm fully, I'm fully cleared for all playing stuff, but I'm still doing a little bit of therapy just to be very cautious about it and just to make sure I'm in the best position possible before we go on the field.
and then what's it kind of been like learning the finer points of the safety position so far? Uh, it's really just, it's kind of just been trial and error, really, at this point, you know, like, I got great older guys in front of me, um, Xavier Watts, Don Schurler. I have great guys in front of me, so it's really just been trial and error with them, like, just making mistakes, really, or making mistakes on film, and they're helping me out, and we're coming back to practice to fix it the, other, the next day, so it's really just learn, really, just learning. And then... Trey Muhammad has produced several guys that have ended up here. I guess where did he kind of help you the most going to him throughout your high school career? Uh, he kind of helped me the most out of anybody in my high school career. Honestly, just making sure I put in the work, just making sure I'm prepared for everything. And he kind of took me to all my camps that I needed to go to. He trained me. So, you know, Dre, I appreciate Dre a lot and what he's doing with the, um, the guys in Fort Wayne. And he's probably the most important out of my whole recruitment process in high school, for sure. Bodie, what have you kind of learned about just the linebacker position, making the transition a couple years ago? Oh, yeah. So, obviously, I'm, I'm pretty new to the spot still, so I'm still learning every day. And it's uh, one of the best places you can possibly learn. It's LBU here, for sure. It's some of the best countries, or some of the best linebackers in the country, sorry. And uh, they've been great and taught me everything I've learned so far. And it's awesome. And then how has just your lacrosse background kind of helped you athletically with football? Uh, 100% with my hips. I feel like that's definitely one of the biggest things about football is if you can move your hips. And uh, lacrosse is all about hips. So it's, it's been nothing but greatness for me with the hips. And then what's your excitement level just to play in Coach Golden's defense and be in that linebacker room now? Uh, it's... I mean, just, even just playing for Notre Dame and even Golden, it's one. It's a very big honor, and uh, it's a NFL defense for sure. And it's nothing, nothing like I've ever done before. So it's, it's super fun to learn and try new things, and it's very complex, but it, it works, and that gets the job done. What well, was just kind of your first reaction when they sent you the playbook and you kind of got to see that? Was it uh, reload or? Yeah. So I, I was sitting at my desk. I remember when I first opened it. And uh, he told me to skim through it for the first night or so and then trying to get the installs down one through six real quick. And uh, just kind of looking at it, I, my whole brain exploded. And just, uh, it was hundreds and hundreds of pages, and, but I'm getting there. Tayron, just the last year coming, transitioning out of the box, playing more of a safety role, I guess where does that kind of allow your game to kind of grow? Um, so me playing in a box definitely helped me physically as a safety. I feel like I'm more confident um, coming downhill and like tackling than me covering. But I, I can cover if you you I, you can tell off my film. But like I'm just I feel more confident coming downhill tackling. And then there's been several guys from Cincinnati make the decision to come here recently. I guess what's that say about that level of football in Cincinnati? Um, I mean, indeed, just a great place to be at. And then does having Carson come in with you? kind of help the transition too. Yeah, Carson here, being here with me helped me out a lot. Just having somebody I know here with me just makes me even more comfortable. Being here like Ben too, this just made me more comfortable. And then just what have your first three weeks on campus kind of been like? Um, It's been busy. Waking up at 5 a.m. almost every day, grinding, and then class just started Wednesday, so like we got to do our classes and work out. So it's been a lot, but it's definitely a grind. And it's worth it. Logan, your brother went through kind of a high-profile recruitment and everything. How has what he's done kind of helped you through the recruiting process but also get to the point where you are right now? Um, yes, definitely. Growing up, watching him succeed and get all the attention he got, um, that helped me in many ways. You know, I talk to him every day. Me and my brother are super tight. So he honestly teaches me a lot of what I know when it comes to social media, talking to coaches, just everything all around so I learned more than enough from him so yeah I give a lot of credit to him. And then I think a lot of people know about your speed but what's a part of your game people might not have talked about enough? Um, Yeah my speed definitely is a factor in my game but my route running is definitely slept on a little bit. Um, I know my coaches here know about it because they see me every day but the media um, I'm not sure if they have seen it but I'd say my route running and the ability just to come down with the ball. You know, I could track the ball very nicely. 
I'm not one to go up and get it, but when the time comes, I'm going to come down with it. And then what's just your initial impressions of the receiver room so far? Um, Amazing. Like, I know last year we didn't have a great year of receivers, but this year we stepped it up with the transfers, um, great leadership, the seniors, and even some of the underclassmen are taking me under their wing. And just we all learn from each other, so I love it. And then where's kind of Mike Brown helped you? Your first three weeks here. Um, Mike Brown has definitely helped me with the playbook and my technique, really just everything that a receiver needs to know. Um, I have questions almost every day on the playbook and stuff like that. So I just walk into his office and he's open to help me whenever and whatever. Anthony, what was kind of the first or the process of you getting to Notre Dame and everything like that? Yeah, uh, it's gone pretty smooth. Um, you know, just kind of adjusting to living in a dorm, uh, leaving your friends and family a little bit. But, you know, new friends and family here. So it's been a smooth process so far. I've enjoyed every moment of it. Um, just continuing to, to grow here, and, you know, we'll, we'll see where we go from now. And then who's, who's your roommate so far? Logan Saldate. I guess what's kind of that dynamic so far? Uh, it's, it's been good so far. He's, he's got a little bit more energy than me. He likes to go out a little bit more, um, you know, just to, to other guys' rooms, play UFC, stuff like that. So, um, you know, I've enjoyed, you know, dorming with him, getting to know him a little bit. Uh, he's a little bit different in person, and I think you might think over social media. So that's been, you know, really cool to, to see. And then just overall, what's the first three weeks kind of been like for you? Uh, it's been fast, you know, getting here, learning the offense, starting school. Uh, yeah, just just fast so far, but it's been a good process. And then is it easier doing it, making that transition with your brother, or is it doesn't matter so much? Uh, I think it, it, it does help a little bit, you know, just having someone who, who you know, um, who can you can relate all your experiences to um, previously. Um, you know, I honestly haven't talked to him a whole lot since I've gotten here. Like, I probably talked to him. I was telling Carter I'm in this other day. I, I probably talked to him more at home than I have here since we've gotten here. But, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's good seeing a familiar face, uh, especially the like, same face I see when I look in the mirror. So 